Hi, Benedict. My question for you is, are there any specific comics that either made you get into comedy or that inspire you or that maybe had a big influence on you um, when you started your comedy career or currently who stands out to you? Thanks so much. I love your podcast. <gasps> so, uh, oh, I love you, baby. It's always a good question. And it's a lot of people. I'll never just choose one. But I just remember driving around like my parents. We'd take road trips and shit. And my, my mom and dad, I don't know if other people did this or not, but we would always listen to stand-up comedy in the car. And I was, and I thought that shit was so funny and like everybody in my family, if I was in my mom's car with my mom and my two sisters in it and I was like eight years old, they'd all, we'd all be laughing our fucking asses off. And I was like, hell yeah, this is crazy. People can just say this shit. Like everybody's thinking it. I can't believe this is a job. Like, and, the, and everybody likes the guy. That's crazy to me. My dad had his little flavor. We'd listen to like Jerry Seinfeld in my dad's car because he Jerry Seinfeld like very white, very like you know not not that like fun, but that dude is spitting like you can't deny, dude. Jerry Seinfeld's up there bars. He's ten, he's in your everything he says is so relatable, dude. That's art. So that was my dad's vibe when I was with my mom. Like that's when Dane Cook was popping. And I was like, oh, this is hilarious. And he's like crazy. And then you watch him on stage and it's just like, dude, that just opened my eyes to like, you can do that? Who the fuck knew you could even do that? You can just be a spaz and talk about funny shit? Oh. So like those two are probably like first influences. I mean, I know those are like the two most popular comedians ever, but... um, Dude, I used to go on LimeWire when I was a kid. And like Napster. And me and my sister would just download stand up comedy. Like hours. And you know who it was? It was Nick Swardson. Nick Swardson, hour long, like just him going crazy at some comedy club. And we would just fucking sit by the computer and listen to the audio. I can remember sitting by like like dial up internet, fucking the kitchen was like or the computer was like in my kitchen. It was probably like 10 o'clock. Nobody's up. And me and my sister are just listening to Nick Swartzen. Just like saying, like, you know when he talks like this? And like, dude, it was just so funny, bro. And I would just, we would just look at each other and fucking <laughs> and just die laughing for like an hour. And then just probably go to bed. I don't even know what we did after that. But like, it was just funny as fuck. And uh, Pablo Francisco, I don't know how that happened, but... I think I think we would just download different stand up comedians uh shit and like randomly we're like, oh that guy's name sounds funny and we just download like their hour and just fucking die. Uh, 